Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scarbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Friday, uh, March 20, excuse me, March, oh geez, May 21st, sorry about that, <laughs> it's early, um, or Saturday, May 22nd, if you're in Australia and New Zealand, and the moon uh, starts the day in Virgo. And for the most part, spends the whole day in Virgo. It does shift here on the east coast of the U.S. at 9.35 p.m. And it moves into um, Libra. Um, so the Virgo moon does give us that energy of um, trying to improve upon things, make the necessary adjustments uh, that we need to make. We have two... Um, aspects today um, that are worth talking about well actually one um, and that is a square between the sun and Jupiter um, the sun is just newly in um, Gemini and Jupiter is just newly in Pisces so this is a first quarter crisis in action square in the first degrees of uh, two of the mutable signs um, and so the crisis in action square is about taking actions on the seed planted when these two planets were conjunct uh, at the beginning of the year. That occurred on uh, January 28th, and it occurred in Aquarius, of course, because at that time Jupiter was in Aquarius, and it actually occurred at 10 degrees of Aquarius. And uh, the thing about 10 degrees of Aquarius is... Um, the interesting Sabian symbol that is associated with 10 degrees of Aquarius. And I have the book in my hand here and I'm trying to hold the camera, open the book and not drop my calendar all at the same time. Uh, I should get into juggling. Maybe I should practice juggling. <laughs> I would be better at this. Um, okay, so 10 degrees of Aquarius. Uh, this was the initial conjunction on the 28th of January. A man who had for a time become the embodiment of a popular ideal is made to realize that as a person, he is not this ideal. Um, so, <laughs> being an American and having gone through the last four years or so of insanity, uh, my first place, uh, my first idea is that they're talking about the former 45th president of the U.S. Uh, in this symbol. Um, and it's possible, right, that that is the case. Uh, however, um, it could be uh, anything or anybody uh, who we saw as an ideal of an idea, who embodied an ideal, and uh, we come to realize that perhaps uh, that is not the case. And, uh, and people waking up, perhaps, well, we can only hope, right? Um, so that's the Sabian symbol, but let's talk a little bit about the energy of Jupiter and the sun because Jupiter and the sun make up the majority of the solar system. Of course, the sun makes the majority up of the solar system. Uh, and Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and is often considered by some to be a, um, an, a star on, in its own right, a star in its own right in that, uh, I think it's considered a dwarf brown dwarf or something. I think th they're talking about that. Um, it certainly is a gas giant, <laughs> as is the sun. And so a square will stimulate uh, the gas giantness of these planets. And so there can be exaggeration. There can be um, uh, the crisis in action creates an action that is sort of out... Uh, what do I want to say? Outsourced or outstretched or uh, uh, things can things can get out of hand in the fact that uh, there's an exaggeration. That things get exaggerated. So um, there's that. So that's something to consider uh, with this with the square. Um, but ultimately, the Sun Jupiter um, combination. Um, one of the issues with that is the issue of truth, right? What is true? What is not? What do I believe? And what don't I believe? And uh, I think that is um, where this uh, 
aspect can take us. So whether it's on the political front or whether it's on the personal front, um, only you will know and it will apply to you. And this is occurring at one degree of Pisces and uh, for Jupiter and one degree of uh, Gemini for the sun. So wherever that falls in your chart, uh, this is in whatever houses the, that it falls in. And perhaps if there's anything connected in your chart to that, um, it is stimulated at this time. And of course, the stimulation is one of action. So people want to take action on stuff. Uh, whether or not they take action on it um, and it's something that they can believe in or that it's something that it's true. So people could take action on things that are not true. However, <laughs> uh, I'm always hopeful that uh, people will wake up, uh, smell the coffee, as we say in Jersey, smell the coffee, and uh, <laughs> make better decisions, make better choices, and take better actions. All right, guys, have yourself a beautiful Friday. It looks like we're going to have another glorious day here. Uh, it was kind of um, a little foggy this morning, but now the fog has... Uh, burned off and the sun is coming up still pretty early here um bring you over here to the peonies we have um the peony that opened up the other day right there isn't it lovely and then the little one back there these are getting closer to to blooming and of course the wall of irises now this is a wall worth building that's what i say <sighs> so i'll take you up the wall of irises <laughs> <laughs> and uh, wish you a fond and beautiful day. Have yourself a great day. Like and subscribe and uh, much love to you. Take care.